Yo guys, what's up? This is Jay from MechStuff and today we will see how to control an LED with the help of TV remote or any other kind of remote of AC or DVD player. So the things which you will need are in front of you. Let me just show you them individually. You will need some jumpers, an Arduino board, an infrared receiver, TSOP 17, and an LED and a breadboard. So without wasting the time, let's get started. So before proceeding with the connections, let me just explain you what we are actually going to do. Uh, we need to know the code of the button on the remote which we are going to use to control the LED. For example, if we are going to use the green button, the power on button, we need to know the code of that button which is nothing but the intensity of the infrared ray when we press that particular button. So every different button on the remote has emits different intensity of infrared rays. So to note, to note down the values, let's begin now with the connections. So we take our first component that is our infrared receiver and as you can see the three oops just a second let me focus on it yeah so now you can see that there are three terminals the first one from the right hand side which is this one is the ground terminal ground which will go to the ground pin of the Arduino the middle one is the VCC and the last one which is isolated from the other two is our output pin through which we are going to get the intensity of that particular button so let's start connecting it so we take our receiver mount it on the breadboard the first pin goes to the ground of the Arduino the second one goes to the VCC and the third one that is the output will go to pin number 3 you can choose any of the PWM pins from these 13 digital pins over here so now let's connect our LED to the Arduino board the positive part will go to any of the digital pins well I'm going for pin number 9 and this goes to the ground so we are done with the connections let's move to the coding part so here is our code and i have already installed the infrared remote library well you can get it for free anywhere online and I have declared a pin number 3 as the receive pin through which it is going to receive the infrared pulses and also I have declared a pin number 9 as output pin through which we are going to turn on and off our LED so coming at line number 13 serial dot begin 9600 this starts the serial communication between the infrared receiver and the Arduino and the line number 14 over here starts the receiver coming to our looping part if the receiver receives any values and produces any result then print it you can see the values over here by clicking on the serial monitor over here and then this line over here line number 20 receives the next value again so if the value received is this which in our case is the upper arrow button then the LED will be turned on 
and if the value is received this which in our case is the lower down button then our LED will turn off well for receiving the values of the button you need only these three lines but if you want to turn the LED on and off you are going to need these lines too well we turn on and off our TV with the help of a single button on a remote don't we so if you want to operate it in a similar manner you just need to copy these lines and paste it instead of these lines from 21 to 30 you just need to replace this part so basically what I have done here is the counter thing and the C++ on the line 41 says it all so if the value is received for the first time the LED will be turned on and if the value is received for the second time the LED will be turned off and again if third time the LED will be turned on fourth time off so what it means is if C is an odd number the LED will be turned on and if it turns out to be an even number then the LED will be turned off and that is the reason why I have declared in C as 0 so now just upload this code and power your Arduino get the values of the button and then update those values here and here and then again upload it and then test it out so let's see what happens when I press the power on button the value we see is 12394 let's try with another button like the upper arrow button Okay. So the new value received is 12583000. Let's take a final button, the down arrow button. The value received is 28257878.9. Okay. So let's note down these values and we'll use these values to on and off our LED. So let's test it out. I'm going to press the upper arrow button and you see the LED is on when I press the lower button the LED is off upper on lower off upper on lower off well now you are good to go so I hope you found my tutorial helpful and easy Please comment below if you face any difficulties and please uh, subscribe my channel. Thank you.